Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited about today's video. It's all about exhaust systems. And when I first got into this purchasing process, I had a lot of questions. And like first, how much of a system do I need? Just a muffler or am I doing cat back? Am I doing true duels? Um, I wasn't sure what I was looking for. Second, how hard are those systems to install? Can I DIY those in my garage? That's kind of what this channel is about, saving some money, doing it yourself. And I want to be able to know I'm, I'm capable of doing such a thing, right? Uh, third, you know, what one am I going to choose as far as sound level? You know, I want it obviously to be louder than stock. That's why I'm doing it. Um, I want more power, a little more fuel economy a bit, right? Um, but I don't want to be so loud and obnoxious that everybody around the block can hear me pulling into my driveway every day or I don't want drone in the cab when I'm just cruising down the road so um, with all those unknowns it's kind of hard to make that decision so I'm hoping by the end of this video you can feel a lot more confident with your purchase and that you can take this project on yourself uh, it really isn't that bad once you know what you're doing so um, we're pulling all the stops to try to make this as informational as possible first off Big shout out to Real Truck for sponsoring this video. They sent us not one, but two full cat back systems so we can see what the install process is like. One's a true dual and one's that connects on after the Y pipe so we can see what that process is like. They're also, one is the attack from Borla and one is the S type. So we can listen to the sounds. I'll try to get the best recordings I can on my phone, but I'll also give my feedback to, you know, from what I think of it based on what my interests were. And hopefully that can help you make your decision too. So um, again, thank you to them for sponsoring the video. I will have links in the description to everything. Please follow those links. If you like this stuff, please purchase from Real Truck. I do get a little bit of a kickback if you follow those links. So again, it also helps support the channel. So thank you to them. And like I said, support them who support me. I really appreciate it. Okay. And then the last thing to do to really make this the best side by side comparison is to actually do it side by side. So yes, I have two trucks here today. Uh, really excited to have both systems installed at the same time so we can get the most accurate comparison. And like I said, my feedback uh, hopefully will help you guys out too. So. Let's get into it. I'm really excited. This is Truck Ownership 101. I'm Spencer Elbelbach. Class is now in session. Is this not the coolest backdrop or what? Okay, so we have here two pretty much identical trail bosses. One's a 2021, the one closest to me, and the one behind is a 2020, but they both have the 6.2 liter V8 engine, so their their exhausts are completely compatible, uh, both the crew cabs. Um, like I said, as far as similarities, they're, they're pretty dang the same. A little bit of customization with, uh, with one versus the other, but uh, you know, one's been debadged and one's a little more blacked out. So I'll put any uh, links in the description of any of the stuff that you think you might like on the pair of these and uh, feel free to check all that stuff out. Of course, the exhausts too. Now, speaking of exhausts, I decided to go with Borla for a few reasons. One, they're a fantastic, reputable company making their stuff right here in the USA. Uh, their stuff is made out of stainless steel. Um, they have a million mile warranty and they have a ton of options and their sound is is great so you can't really go wrong with them um, you know so the two systems that we're going to be looking at uh, we're going to be putting the attack on this one here and one of the cool things about Borla is you can just pick your price point do you want um, Let's see here. Do you want uh, to go just entry level, as, as painless as possible financially? Just do a, 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 a muffler, where they just cut your muffler off, put the other muffler on. Um, that one, probably less likely for you to be able to DIY unless you're pretty good with the welding stainless steel and, and have all those resources available. So you might have to pay somebody 
uh, to do that for you. Um, the next level up would be, like I said, the cat back system uh, connecting to the Y pipe, which is uh, just after where the cats come together, and that's just bolt on. Um, you do need a sawzall for cutting, which is actually the system that we've got for this truck here. So we'll be doing that. And again, for different price points, one of the options there is how you want to do your tips. Uh, you can run the stock tips if you like these. I know they get a little bit of flack for looking like HDMI inputs, right? So we'll be pulling both of those on these. Um, or, but again, you can save some money by doing that. Or you can do multiple different types of the quad tip, which I love. I think this looks fantastic. Uh, the quad tip design with those cutouts in the dual exhaust. If you have dual exhaust, if you don't have dual exhaust, they have you covered there. You can just, you know, they'll just pick the different model and you can have that as well. So um, the different tips, there's different options you have there too. This is kind of the the top of line one it's a carbon fiber with the borla logo a really aggressive look um, you actually get a little bit of that poke out kind of uh, look there too um, i did find you can get a little bit of adjustability in those uh, not i don't think it's really advertised that way but when i was trying to put them in place i actually put that first set on uh, they were a little offset so i kind of learned that i can <laughs> i can play with that a little bit so um, but yeah, this one, we're gonna try something different just to give you guys a comparison to see what you guys like. We're gonna do quad tips, but they're going to be uh, chrome black. So I think especially on the trail bosses or any, any dark trucks, uh, bumpers, they're gonna look super sharp. And as you can see, he's most of the way through on his chrome delete. He's got, you know, changed the trail boss there. He got rid of his badges and everything. So again, two pretty sharp looking trucks here, especially after this exhaust system's done. But so yeah, right now his is stock. I've already got mine done um, just to save time here, but we'll put these together. Um, I'm gonna try to take some decibel recording levels. We'll see how that works. And I know it's tough on YouTube videos using your speaker of your phone to try to listen to the sound differences. But again, we'll try to get a decibel recording. So maybe that can give us a little more insight on what stock sounds like this is still stock so we'll measure that first and then i said we'll listen to my s type and then listen to his attack after we finish the install and again we'll get my feedback on what i think they sound like too so um, without further ado let's get into some some testing here all right so the first test we'll do is the stock sound of the truck we'll get that recorded first and then we'll get into how to install these cat back systems and then once they're both installed, then we can do the uh, full test with the new systems. All right, so we got the stock recording. Let's get the attack installed compared to the S-Type that's already installed on my truck and uh, compare them and see what we like. So this install, especially for this one, uh, really straightforward, just bolt off, bolt on, one cut to make just to make it get out of there easier. Um, they come with step-by-step -step instructions on, on color, which is fantastic, so much easier to see. Um, yeah, and you just, you just follow the steps. I'll kind of do a little montage thing to keep the video short, but uh, yeah, like I said, if you can run a ratchet, if you can make a couple of unimportant cuts with a sawzall, you can easily do this cat back style uh, from the Y-pipe. And if you cho choose to go with the true dual, again, it's just a couple of cuts at the right spots and everything else is basically the same too. So yeah, just follow these. We will install the tips last and try to get the alignment as, as close as we can uh, before we snug everything down tight, tight. Uh, like I so said, the first time I did this, I had one set of tips sticking out about a half inch further than the other tip. So um, definitely not snugging down things super tight until you're happy with where everything is placed would be a, a pro tip for you there. All right, let's do it.
let's wrap this thing up. Using that decibel gauge was pretty cool uh, to kind of see what the compares to. I really hope that's uh, more informative than just a microphone on my camera uh, trying to pick up the audio. I know that never does it justice with an exhaust system, so maybe a few things to relate it to, compare the two different systems together. Uh, as far as just my opinion, I thought they weren't actually too far apart, which I think after watching other videos of the exhausts is kind of similar. Um, I will say that the attack is a little bit louder. I wouldn't say it's on a whole different level. Um, I would also say that it's it's throatier, which is kind of hard to to explain or try to take from that. But it definitely had more of just that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, after listening to the two side by side, I wouldn't have said mine sounded muffled, you know, um, until I had them both side by side. So um, if you can stand a little bit more noise, um, but you want that deep throaty sound that you can possibly get, um, I would say on the deceleration, it keeps the noise level higher for a little bit longer. You know, I never would have thought, like I said, mine was muffled until I heard those two side by side, but on my decelerations, it definitely sounds like it kind of holds itself back a little bit. So um, to each their own, I think, like I said, if you don't want to go all the way to the tip top, you're still going to get noticeable difference with the S-Type. So, um, but yeah, uh, as far as install goes, uh, would I recommend the, uh, just the cat back after the Y or would I go true dual? You know, um, spending my hard-earned money, I don't think the the true dual. I mean, it's again, if you want it, if you can afford it, uh, you want it. You know, it's it's definitely cool. So there there's something there. Uh, the install wasn't that much harder, and then like I said, you don't get that crushed Y pipe kind of thing. Um, but again, you do lose a touch of of you know clearance there too. So, you know, I just thought for how much easier install went, save a few bucks. The diameters of the pipes are larger before it gets to the next Y pipe anyway, so you still have good air volume. You know, I probably would do either the attack or the S-type at that Y pipe. Just my opinion. Uh, obviously, this one behind me's got the uh, true dual, and I'm really happy about that. You know, there is a mixing chamber in the exhaust in the muffler, so it's not really true true separation the whole way. But um, like I said, it's it's <laughs> to each their own. Um, you can easily, again, um, shave a little money off here and there, uh, depending on what you do with the tips as well, if you want to re reuse your old ones or, you know, like I said, what style you go with. Um, but, yeah, I would definitely recommend doing one of these catalytic converter back, cat back systems over anything else, uh, and then do it yourself. The money I saved by in doing my own system um, allowed me to get some of those cool add-ons that if I would have had a professional install it, I would have had to have cut a lot of corners to be able to afford it. So, um, I, like I said, do yourself a favor. Um, click the links in the description. Thank you to Real Truck again. Um, they support me, um, and then that helps support the channel. So please support them, and then check out what they've got. Like I said, mix and match and build whatever you decide. Like I said, you're going to get this great sounding system that Borla makes. So. Um, you know, like, comment, let me know what you thought. Now, what combination would you do as far as tips and system and all that stuff? I'd love to see what the community would go with after watching this video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. I make tons of these videos. I got almost 50 of them now. So uh, all about our trucks. So uh, I got more coming. So at least you can kind of follow along with all this. Uh, that would be great. So um, till then, class dismissed. <laughs>